Welcome back to Tango Romeo, the bus build channel. So far we're three weeks in, we've got the floors, we got all the rubber off the floors, we got the adhesive off the floors, and we got all the rust removed. Um, this week we're going to cover why we're not using a rust converter like OSFA and why we chose to instead strip the floors down to bare metal, clean up the rust, and make a more permanent bus floor. There's a reason that all of those rust converters have the reviews they have. About half of the reviews on there are, eh, it lasted a couple weeks. But I think the ones you see that are good reviews are probably because people have already covered the floors up and don't have a clue what's going on down there. So in this episode, we go over the final prep of the floor and getting an oil-based primer down and getting that floor ready so we can move on to other things. So come on, follow the channel, subscribe to the channel. Once again, I'm going to ask, I need subscribers. So subscribe. Hit the notification bell and follow along. We're going to cover everything on this channel from getting the floors prepped to getting the roof done, why we're not going to use Henry's Tropical and cause a big fly strip on top of the bus with everything sticks to, except what you want to stick. We're going to cover the electrical aspect of it. We're going to cover solar panel installation. We're going to put a roof deck on this. We're going to paint the whole bus and we're going to build it out. And this is a 28 foot 1991 international Wayne series bus and we're going to build this thing out and make the best of 150 square foot so come along subscribe to the channel and watch this week's video thanks guys good morning everyone it's sunday welcome back to the tango romeo 87 channel we uh, are filming another episode today on floors. Today's the day we paint. We've got a little bit of prep work to do before we get there. Um, the, as the floors, as you can see, are stripped down, rust-free, and bare metal. That is the correct way to prepare a floor for longevity. We took a wire cup, a coarse knotted wire cup on a grinder, and covered this entire floor multiple times. In the area where we had a little bit of pitting from rust, we took a grinder with a grinding wheel and cut into that as much as we could, and then took a fine wire brush and went in and scrubbed the rust out of those holes. Our next step, now that we've got all the holes patched, all of those ground down, um, and the floor is basically prepared for painting, our next step is going to be to take a orbital sander with a 120 grit Diablo sanding pad, and go over the entire floor. I know I've already heard from a lot of people that this is unnecessary and that you shouldn't do this. We use a Diablo 120 grit sandpaper for this project. A lot of people have told us that this is overkill, just spray it with some Osfo and uh, cover it up. Truth is, paint adheres only as well as the surface underneath of it. So right now we have a good clean surface, it's shiny, it's metal. Um, but if you look at it, it's nasty. So there's a couple steps left before I'm going to paint this because I want this paint to stay and last for another 30 years. This floor lasted 30 years. It's still solid. Uh, there was a few places where water had gotten in and started to rust, but we've got those cleaned up. So by taking the sandpaper, what we're going to do is take any of the final varnishes and oils and any paint that was on the metal. We're going to smooth those edges we're going to cause little tiny micro abrasions in the metal. This gives the paint a better opportunity to stick. Once we get done sanding, we'll take a degreaser, um, mix pretty strong with water and a rag, and we'll go over this floor until we get a clean towel. The final step before we put the paint down will be to use what's called Prepsol, or a solvent that actually removes any of the metals. It's amazing that the oils in your hands while you're running around the bus, walking around on your hands and knees, <clears throat> are enough to cause paint to peel back up at a later date. There's a lot of oil in skin, there's a lot of oil on your shoes, there's a lot of oil that's built up over the years. So prep this surface and get it good and clean. So I'll get started sanding on this now, and uh, it shouldn't take long because we're just going to basically go over about like this. So what 
we're going to look for when we sand is any dark spots that are oily, um, any heavy spots. You'll, you'll see them when you sand, they come up. It probably won't take an hour to do this 28 foot bus to go over the floor lightly, sand it, and you probably can't see it on film, but this is putting little tiny micro scratches in this metal, which is another place for the paint to adhere. So let me get started sanding. We get that done. We'll get it all wiped down, washed down. We'll get it taped off and we'll get the paint on the floor today. Whew. I only had one day to work this week because I had to work my real job yesterday, which was Saturday. And we worked long hours all week. We were tired. We had a lot to do around the house still. So today is the only day that I get to work on the bus. So we're going to try to hammer through this thing and get paint on the floor before the sun sets today. roughly an hour with the orbital sander to sand and rough up the whole floor, get all of the grease and oil spots off. It's amazing how much different it looks. As you can probably tell in the video, it's uh, it's lost some of its shine because now it's it's cut and grooved a little bit for adhesion. Um, I used the leaf blower, another great Ryobi One product, 18 volt battery. I don't have to drag cords around with me where I go. And I use this to get dust off things and I've used it so many times on this bus project it's, it's not funny. The next step is going to be to get a strong solution of degreaser and water, some clean towels and start wiping this entire thing down until I return clean towels. Then I'll take my prep saw or my preparation solvent, wipe the floor, make sure any last little bits of grease and oil are gone. And I'm not going to use a, a rust converter. Um, there's a slight rust converter in it. I'm going to use a rust oleum product because I prepped the floor. Even so, I'm going to use the rust oleum for heavy rust because the areas that still have rust down in the little pits, little bits of it, I want to make sure that I get rid of those. Once again, if you want to flake off any rust on your floor and you want to put some Osfo down and put your floor down, that's fine. I'm not saying that that's wrong. I'm not saying that I'm right. This is just the way you prep metal for the best adhesion possible for the longest duration. I'm building my bus to last 20 or 30 years, so I'm taking every step of it as serious as I can. Chasing every piece of rust off, chasing everything down to where I don't have to do this again. A wire brush on a grinder will typically leave a glaze, so you're gonna to have to come back and sand and, and use something to get it off. As you can see, the floors have lost some of their shine because now they have micro scratches in them for paint adhesion. If you paint a car, if you paint tools, if you paint anything, the first thing they tell you to do is get that down to a smooth surface, rough surface, so the paint can get into those grooves and adhere. I want this to last a long time. But I'm gonna get down, get the solution done, get my prep saw down, let everything dry, and I'm gonna get the paint on here so I can be done completely with the floors in this bus and move on to something else. twice with the degreaser and then just clean water and got them to where the rags were coming out completely white. Um, then I went over with the prep saw. Make sure that if you use any type of solvent that it's a that it is a uh, low vapor 
and that you wear a respirator that's designed for vapors and chemicals. Um, I kind of cut that out of the video, but this floor is clean as a pen. So now it's time to start painting the floor. First, I'll cut in along all the edges and, and give me an area where I can just roll the middle. Like I said, we're not using uh, a, an OSFO or a rust converter on our floor because we cleaned the floor so well that we wanted good paint adhesion. So this is exactly what we'll be using to put the base coat of primer down. This is a Rust-Oleum made for heavily rusted metals. And even though our floor is clean, there's a few places that it's pitted that it has rusted in the past. So I want to put a good coat down. Now I've heard a lot of people complain about Rust-Oleum and it flakes and it does this. A lot of that has to do with how you prepare your surface. You're, you're not gonna shortcut it. It doesn't matter whether you're building a schoolie or whether you're rebuilding a 57 Chevy. Get your metal clean, get the dust, dirt, grime, and oil off of it, sand it, leave it just a little bit rough, um, you know, rough it up with that 120 grit sandpaper so that you get good adhesion. So today's the day that I've been waiting on for a long time to get the paint on the floor and then I can move on to other projects. I'll have to move the bus because probably the next thing we're gonna do is the roof and then we're gonna take out every window. Um, it's gonna be a long process. Don't shortcut yourself, guys. Build your schoolie so that you're proud of it, that you don't have to worry about it, that you don't wonder what's going on underneath all the wood. Make sure you take the time to do it right. Just do the cut in along the edges. <clears throat> Don't have to really worry about taping anything because the walls are going to be covered with wood so if you get a little bit on the bottom of the wall mm, no big deal in done and I went along and put paint with a paintbrush in every seam so that it set in good it got down deep in those seams and and filled those seams really well so the cut in around the edge is done and I also went through with a paintbrush anywhere we had pitting whether it be mild or a little bit more severe that we had cleaned up I took the paintbrush and, and painted those areas to get a good coat down inside of all that pitting from all sides before we take the roller and roll the floor. So now we're gonna wait for this to dry just a little bit and we will get the floor rolled. Thank you. 